Welcome, darling. How you doing? Welcome to Orchids for Dummies, all of my new beginners. In today's video, yes, God, I will be teaching you the right way to grow your Phalaenopsis orchid in water culture. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, foul pals, I do not believe in a long video, but because, honey, this right here is my first flower spike, this right here is my first orchid that I have effectively been able to grow using water culture method. So I am going to take my time, honey, I'm going to take my time. If you want to know how I maintained, how I am able to get a flower spike off of an old flower spike with a phalaenopsis that has no roots, you're going to have to stay around to the end of this video. But for now, to all of my YouTube orchid society people, Stay tuned. Now, Val Pals, if you are new to this channel, if you are a new grower, growing Phalaenopsis orchids, please subscribe. It's a little red button right over here. Hit that button. You will be subscribed. Ring the bell so you will be notified when I post a video. And join my Facebook group, baby, called Foul Pal. All right, now with that being said, Fab Pals, this right here means a lot to the YouTube Orchid Society only because the Phalaenopsis Orchid, which is the first orchid many of us have had growing and even growing orchids, they are the hardest, honey. Besides my Miltoniopsis Orchid, they are the hardest to they are just so temperamental, okay? Many of us know that. But honey, so for me to get a sick phalaenopsis from my foul pal Danielle that she referred to as a problem for me to have no roots and now all of a sudden, all of this new root production, no leaves were lost, foul pals. I did not even lose a leaf, okay? Then the icing on the cake. This new leaf is growing. It is growing. This flower spike was not here at all. The best thing about this channel is that the proof is in the pudding. So I am going to leave a list of videos, darling, to verify every single thing that I say, even this little darling right here that lost a few leaves, I placed it in moss. I tried a new pot, even with just these two small leaves, foul pals. The orchids chooses to live. New root production, a new leaf is growing, foul pals. So yes, darling, yes, in the midst of me now having 500 foul pals on my side, honey. I am able to tell you, honey, you're at the right place at the right time, okay? Now, many of my foul pals know that I say that I have a rich husband. And with me having a rich husband, I have adapted the people, meaning that this is the people's channel. I told you in previous videos that it's a lot of misinformation out there. I have watched all of these videos and no one was able to help me. I had to do the research myself. Not only that, people from the American Orchid Society say the best way to learn how to grow a Phalaenopsis orchid is through trial and error. So not only do you have a foul pal, that can teach you what he did in such a short video, you have someone that's giving you entertainment, darling. Stay tuned. 
Now, fail pals, I do not like to endorse anything or anyone because if I, as I said in previous videos, if you are good at something, never do it for free. And me being the people's channel, I am only going to tell you the best according to me. Now, foul pals, many of us have practiced water culture and have epically failed, and me including. But now, what I am doing, what is working best for me, foul pals? Now, I am using distilled water because when I was using tap water, I kept getting white mold, black mold. I have videos on that as well. Only when I continue to only use distilled water, not only did my phalaenopsis thrive, but I don't have to clean out my container as often. I'm not having that white residue build up, which leads to that white fluffy mold, foul pals, on your phalaenopsis Orchid. Yes, darling, mama is going to have fun today, baby, because I took the time to educate myself. And now because I have nothing to gain or lose, I, the people's channel, am I going to tell you what I have already told you that no one wanted to believe. I told you in update seven and also previous videos that no, Amy, you would not get seaweed extract when your phalaenopsis has roots. Amy phalaenopsis had plenty of roots. Her orchids were losing their bottom leaves. I will, go, honey, come on now. Can somebody press amen in the comment box? Because mama got no reason to lie, okay? My husband is rich and we losing money playing with all this stuff now. Come on. But yes, and she was her complaint was she was losing her bottom leaves. The bottom leaves kept falling out. These the same two leaves. All of these are the same leaves Danielle sent me. They did not go anywhere. All I did was get distilled water and put it at the bottom. And I do it daily. I don't do it. And I can only tell you what works for me, okay, baby. I'm not. I don't want to confuse you. What I do. Every day, I leave the water in here. At night, I pour the water out. Sometimes, because distilled water, buying it, um, it does begin to get a little costly. I do end up um, leaving it in sometimes for two days and then letting it dry for a complete whole day. But nothing more than that. And I would suggest until you get into the routine of doing that, then you should do it daily. Just a little water. This is only like a drop of water. It just magnified because it's in glass. As I told you, um, I left all of these roots on. In the past, I would have cut them off because they were black. They were mushy and gushy. But guess what, Foul Pals? According to Foul Pals on Facebook, they say to leave all of that mess on there. Now, yes, it will be a problem for mold, but using distilled pure water, I have not occurred that problem. Okay? I have new roots coming everywhere. And I will show you the next step in videos to come. But, foul pals, I just want you to know, honey, Orchids for Dummies, the people's channel that is not getting paid any anything that is not sponsored by anyone and does not endorse anyone except for the foul pals that I have met in my sweet people on Facebook. Now, to answer your question, darling, all I did was get a little distilled, I mean, well, a gallon of distilled water, and I would put one to two drops at the most of the seaweed extract into it. A lot of us don't like to read. That's the sad reality. I, on the other hand, have nothing better to do. So, on the front, it says foliar feed. Okay, what foul pal Amy was doing was, honey, she was putting it in, in the water. And because I saw her putting it in the water, I was putting it in the water. And everybody orchid was dying. But all I do is when I come downstairs at night, 
because my foul pal, Auntie Carolyn from Jack Williams Orchids, okay, another person that's not getting paid a dime. Uh, she said that what you do is they are more receptive to receive moisture and humidity at nighttime. Not in the daytime. So I have put that to the test in the past month. These are my results. Until you see other channels showing you the results. Do not believe it. Do not believe it, baby. Anybody can make a video and put nice words in the description box. And it's called copy and paste. Okay, I can only tell you what I've done, okay? Okay. So this, get your gallon of distilled water. Um, this, what I told you about the water every day, put you just a drop in, just the base of the Phalaenopsis orchid is touching it at nighttime, pour it out. Then you start feeding it with the foliar feed. That's how it's going to maintain itself. It has to eat. So you're feeding it and it's absorbing it through the leaves at nighttime. Well, there you go, people. I hope you guys are in tune with me now. now. Pals, I thank you for tuning in. All of my new people, honey, welcome, baby, to a place where you can get your life, okay? I just thank you so much, honey. The proof is in the pudding. Fab pal Danielle, look what God can do. And with that being said, Fab pals, until next time.